Dead Man Walking by Andrew Wright. And that is the entire screen. <laughs> hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're looking at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. So let's just get started. This game actually is the 7 Day Roguelike version, and there is a uh, post version, which, if I'm not mistaken, is, is significantly different. So we're, we might, we might want to take a look at that one quick at some point. Oh, and we actually get to be, have, be told how the game works this time around, which is nice. Um, so let's see, picking up stuff is G, dropping is D, fight enemies, bumps, uh, certain options on and off. Display combat info. Oh, I want that. Use combat colors. I also want that. Good. Um, damage, right. Oh, okay, so it's just direct reduction. That's pretty simple. Uh, this. Willpower cannot be restored. Wow, really? Okay, sure, why not? Uh, poisons and bleeds. Begin taking willpower damage. Oh, Oh, okay, I was reading that wrong. When you hear points reach zero, you begin taking willpower damage. If your willpower damage reaches zero, you then lose. Uh, poisons and bleeds are damage over time. Poison stack, bleeds stack and damage, poison stack and duration. Healing flasks get rid of both. And there's the website, but you guys can already see that in the link, so there's no worries there. And here is the zombies we're fighting. Zombies is really hard. Wow. Dang. Oh, but I do get a lot of I do get just lots of HPs back. All right, that's, that's important. Um, I think I want to just use the short sword. Yeah. Walking into a wall doesn't seem productive. No, it does not. You get HP back real fast in this game. So I, I believe this is the kind of game where you want to focus on keeping yourself uh, fighting only one little bit at a time. Oh, darn it. And also walking into stairs is just immediate effects on uh, on your life life okay and then we'll get our HP's back good and we fight skelly mancies and let's not go into the stairs this time let's actually try to do some some bits and pieces I don't know if there's such a thing as leveling up in this game chainmail Kui Ross that's fine can I just hold it yay I can hold it some games don't do that oh barnacles a garjan um, okay, good. Oh, I'm bleeding, apparently. I can bleed. So I'm just gonna, yeah, run away for a little bit until I get enough HP back where I feel safe. And when you're not in combat, I guess the HP recovery doubles. That's what's going on there. We got a normal, oh, normal axes are the same as short sword axes. Although, let's just check. Um... Uh, Q's or any, is there an E? What are the controls to this? What am I doing? Crap. Um, okay, good. That got, that got rid of the other stuff. Um, there isn't a readme for this, so I just, I don't know. Was it just inventory? Um, here we go. Short sword. Uh, let's switch to axe. Okay, so that's definitely just, that's, oh, darn it. Um, that's definitely just not as good then. The short sword is clearly better, so whatever. As far as I can tell, at least. You, that's not nice video game. You can't call me that. That's, that's just not nice. Okay, so. Moving along, heading on like a busby. Killing everything in our way. We already found the stairs, but I just kind of wanted to see if I could collect other things. Just to find if they had healing flasks, for example. But willpower never unimports, so that's that's a big old problem. Let's just go down the stairs. It doesn't look like we have level ups, so our level ups consist of finding items, which is why it would be important to kind of walk around until we found something good. But maybe the chainmail will be enough for this particular floor. Who even knows? Well, I certainly don't. Oh crap! A laughing skull. Nearby enemy. Oh, so laughing skulls are the clerics of this game so far. So we need to worry about that stuff going on. Whenever there's a room with enemies in it, definitely get rid of the laughing skull first. Quite. They're not that nasty by themselves, it looks like. It's really more of a mass revivification. 
Is that to bring them to life and make them work with well with me? I don't know. Okay, well, looks like one of them isn't too bad. 1v1 bits. Guardians! Guardians, do they cause bleed? Well, he's bleeding now. Alright, cool. But I'm not no longer bleeding. Something caused bleeding there. I'm not sure what. Oh, come on. Get over here. There we go. I don't know what the, the intense pressure... Um... Apparently this yellow man, oh, come on, it's the Eureka, oh, a Eureka the Invincible. Are they truly invincible or can I get out of here? All right, well, it looks like I can at least, I don't know if they get HPs back. So there's that, I could just try to figure this one out slowly. Okay, there we go, Eureka the Invincible finally died. Not as invincible as you would think, yes. He's a bloody axe. Don't know if there's a difference there. But let's just keep moving on then. Alright. I was hoping for a better weapon, but we have yet to find that better weapon in my inventory yet. Yet, 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 all the yets. Yetis, even. Oh, a T. That's a tormented. I'm just going to go ahead and use this because I'm going to keep forgetting about it. Everything in sight is brought back to full health. I guess that includes myself, but why would I want that for me? Because I don't have allies in this game yet, or ever, as far as I know. I'm not entirely sure about that part. Also, I can't move diagonally. I just thought I'd mention that, if in case you're wondering. At least I can't with uh, the keys I have. Does the game tell me I'm supposed to? doesn't say otherwise. The enemies can, and I don't know. I always find it weird when they can, but you can't. Just nothing but axes. A little um, frustrating, I suppose, but that's just the way the game's playing out. So we got more healing flasks, and we have, I think that's, well, we have a scroll of pain. I might want to try that on the Eureka the Invincible next time. Faded map! I'm going to try that as soon as I get to the next floor, which will be hopefully shortly. I don't I don't know if that is. Uh-oh, it's a dragon, or a decay, who's gaining hit points. And I'm suffering from a deadly poison. I think I'm going to have to healing flask my way out of that one. All right, scroll of pain it is. Everything in sight is wrapped in pain. Ah, come on, really? Great. Okay, well, at least it finally died. So this deadly evil poison has finally consumed itself for all it's worth. And we can move on to the next looking area. To that laughing skull. Okay, so we have faded map. Map is mostly useless. Oh, okay, so map, it just shows us where the exit is. Well, that's cool. I can, I can dig that. I can dig it kill these laughing skulls and move on to the next area where I have IRC. So maybe there were only that many? Was maybe okay, here we go. Here we go. So this is the post 7 DRL version. And you can tell because it even has more words written on it this time. So let's go ahead and see how the game has changed this time. Um, all that's the same fighting is fine. Wielding the chaotic saber. So that's cool. I have a chaotic saber and everything. Aren't you proud of me, Ma? Okay. And now we pick up the axe, and the axe is three. Chaotic saber is just our weapon of choice, isn't it? But we do have flasks, and flasks are whatever they are. I'm not... I guess we have different buttons. Potions. Healing flask. I assume that flasks are the healing flasks. Um, and yeah, we still have that stuff going on. So there's the other abilities to do things, but how do I use a f flask? F? Quaff. Yes. Okay. Well, that was a good waste of a flask, but at least I learned what the button is, and I didn't even... Wow. Okay. Enemies hurt more in this version than they did in the last version. I've already lost a little bit of willpower. Which is not, not good at all, but I mean, I'm just, I'm not tr 
trying to win? I don't know. Just trying not to not die? Artifact weapon? My favorite. Echoing death. But it's not even, like, better, is it? Um. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does specials. Special stuff. We'll find out. Or maybe we won't. Also, this game doesn't have weight. Well, maybe it does. No, it doesn't really have a weight. You can run into a wall to wait. So there's that. I've been saying so there's that a lot, haven't I? Oh well, who cares? I don't care enough to change it, so yes. Another artifact weapon, the Trog's Rage. Yeah, the game doesn't... The game doesn't explain those things at all, just you get them and that's that. Misses that's that. And saber, which is, I guess, better than the saber I have? Not sure. Ooh, but we did find a magical mystery card. It's the staff. It's the staff. I feel unstable for getting the staff. I think my flasks refilled when I went down. Although I don't know that. Come on. Uh, Garjon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, Garjon. Oh, I do not really want to be in this hallway, do I? No. <laughs> I don't even have an ability to otherwise handle this properly. Because he's just going to keep speeding up. And I think I'm just going to take willpower damage until, you know, stuff happens. So, yeah. That was not a good way to do that enemy. So, Garjon's fight in large open areas. For sure. For sure. Another magical mystery card. Those tarot cards certainly seem like there's something in this game. And I can I can appreciate that this game has can a kind of a gimmick now. And that portal just went from one place to another. I like that too. I rather like that. Whoa, oh, my sword leeches. Nice. It leeches off of the fleshy minded. Very cool. I can I can like that a lot. So yeah, that's what we're playing on this mother of a game, and a father of a game, and the, the grandpappies. I like it, I really do. Um, I just don't know what else much to say. It seems like this game is doing plenty well on its own in explaining what goes on. So I could, for instance, uh, get this electric saber equipped, and then perhaps use it and shoot super oh that saber master crafted it deals even more damage so that's cool there's a bunch of different weapons then you think about which weapons you want to use and stuff let's go ahead and try using a flask and then descend okay you gotta be kidding me this ghost was evil <laughs> that was wow okay crazy that ghost was evil man there's a lot of damage there not even sure I was handling that well. Well, anyway, I think this game looks like it's well polished. As well, in the post-7 DRL version, the original one was just easy peasy breezy, but this one seems like it has some real difficult stuffs going for it. So check it out, and you know that, that sort of stuff. Um, for the Lipticod games, this one has a lot more um, than the standard. It would I would say, and you can tell it's Lipticod. I mean, come on. If you can't tell it's Lipticod by now, I don't know if you're watching these or what. Anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing Dead Man Walking. Well, that explains the ghost. Join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.